Uh, tell me about what's an echocardiogram? What's that going to tell you? I hear the word, but I'm not sure what echocardiogram means. That is an ultrasound test of the heart. And for all the information we get from the stethoscope, we get so much more information from an echocardiogram. What's it like? Is it a, um, tell me about it. Well, it's an ultrasound pictures of the heart. Mm -hmm. It's like taking an ultrasound picture of a baby mm -hmm. uh, before it's born. Yeah, we, we've seen most of that. What does the it's, heart look like on an ultrasound? Well, you can see the chambers, the four chambers, the four heart valves. We look at the heart muscle to see if it's thickened or thinned. We see if the heart's enlarged. We see the aorta, the pericardial sac around the heart. It's very detailed. When do you normally uh, order an echocardiogram? Uh, when somebody you're worried about what? Well, some common symptoms, shortness of breath, for example. Common symptoms, fatigue, shortness of breath, not able to exercise or exert themselves, uh, uh, abnormal, uh, evaluation with a stethoscope, so if you hear a murmur, uh, if somebody has high blood pressure, these would all be very common reasons to get an echo. And so you can see in the echo what's going on with that. Do you, do you ever do, uh, tell me about a stress test. What, what do you do with a stress test? And I take it a stress test is you stress the heart and see if something goes wrong. Generally, that's right. So typically on a treadmill. So we put on a treadmill, it makes it a stress test because they get an incline. So we have to walk up, up a hill on the treadmill. And that gives you a tachycardia? It does. It gets that heart rate up and we try to get uh, up as as high as the person can tolerate and we measure their blood pressure and we watch their electrocardiogram continuously. And that can tell you if something's going on with the heart? Something's going wrong? Yes. You're, it's an indicator of ischemia, means not enough blood flow to the heart, indicating blockage. And sometimes we inject uh, nuclear dye. What is that? What does that do? And what does that tell you? It is a tracer that circulates around uh, through the body, but is taken up by the heart and shows us where blood flow goes to the heart muscle. So, does it give you more information than the echocardiogram, which showed the heart valves and murmurs and the way the heart beats? They're complementary, and oftentimes we will get both an echo and a stress test with a nuclear scan. Um, when you do the echo uh, with the nuclear medicine and you've evaluated to this part of the patient, does it give you almost all the information that you need? Well, between an echo and a stress test with a scan, that's fairly comprehensive, yes. Um, does it ever lead you into, well, I think we need to do a heart cath? It, it does. If we see a, a cold spot or an area where the tracer does not get to the heart muscle, that's an indicator that there's not as much blood flow and that there may be blockage. And so a heart cath would be able to tell us if there's blockage or where the blood flow is going. That's right. It's a very detailed look at the heart arteries. 